But you can get like a U-Haul, not a U-Haul. It was a Penske truck, oh, so the like huge six footer, yeah, the biggest man. one you can, you can drive that without a CDL license. Yeah, you can. And so, like me, I'm driving it, and we're going up to to Michigan, and I go to we go to Kentucky, and we stop. In, in getting around all these cars, I'm already like super frustrated. So we get out, we have a really frustrating meal, like a quick lunch to get it. So it's just like, it's already not good. And so we're pulling out of the, of the gas station slash Wendy's and <laughs> see, that's your problem. I know I should have done, I know, anything, I know, but I couldn't find do. anything. Um, it's Kentucky. Oh what yeah. I couldn't right. help it. Um, and so like I'm turning right. And so like, nobody's letting me through. So like, it's just coming to that pinnacle moment. And so I turned, Steve oh, I know, I'm like starting, I'm getting real frustrated. And so I turned and I hop this. Car. And when you're in a car, when you're in a truck that big, it's not, you kind of hop, like it is like full force. Everybody's in the air. Like I'm hopping it and like, uh, she, yeah, it was, it was not fun to say yeah. the least. And so I, I, I choose to get gas in Ohio. <laughs> I fill up a gas tank. Fill up right before you get to Kentucky, yeah. and then in and Ohio, then make it all the way never through. Stop in <laughs> never Kenti- stop yeah, okay. in Kentucky. So anyway, but yeah. So what are we talking about? We were talking about six 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 because okay. you were on your bike. And yes, you were 6. We, yes, we were, ta- you were talking miles. about numbers. Yeah. yeah, you were talking about numbers. Uh, so, but yeah, I, th- I think this uh, series is doing great, and, and we will and, talk about six 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 and what oh, that means. Cool, because that's there's a lot of what they call numerology in in all the Bible, but especially in the Book of Revelation. Yeah. So we'll talk about some of that. Um, it's in your study guides. There's a whole, like actually this coming week after, after Sunday, um, there's a, a, I guess it's an article that I, I encourage everybody to go to and read that talks about numerology and what are some of the biblical numbers? What does 10 stand for and three and seven and yeah. 40 and that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll dig into all of that. And that's, you know, that's in that study guide's a big deal. That's great. Um, so grab and one so get a study guide. Yeah, Make it happen. Absolutely. Uh, they're, I mean, they're, they're doing great. And again, all I've heard is great things about yeah. them, which is fantastic. Super fun. So, uh, so that's great. Uh, we have a great series happening. Uh, but also this Sunday, we are announcing kind of what we've been teasing for the past uh-huh, couple of weeks, uh-huh. uh, that we are making a huge shift yep. as, as a church, especially in the communications department. Yes. And so... Uh, I'm very excited. And so uh, obviously we'll go through everything on Sunday, yeah. but give a little sneak peek to the to the people who were taking right. their time. OK, hey, if you're uh, watching our, our lunch break podcast, yes. you too can get into the action. First, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, first before anybody else. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> um, anyway, yes. uh, so, yeah, so we're making this huge shift. And Tim actually was kind of spearheaded all this and launched us into this. And it was one of the things that he recognized coming in for, as a Listen, I guess I, you're not really an out. You weren't an outsider, it's a weird one. but you're an outsider. Yeah. Like you're new to this, new to the team. Yes. Like officially uh, yeah. staff wise. And so he's like, Hey, there's, there's some better ways to do some of the stuff that we've been doing for years around here. And so it's been really cool to, to make that shift and some of yeah. those transitions. But um, basically at the end of the day, um, we are consolidating everything communications into one channel. Yeah. In one place, in one location, um, and even in things like, hey, groups, if you're in a group and you want to communicate with each other, you do it through this one channel. Yeah. Or you can. Like, mm-hmm. and we're really, we're asking everybody to do it. And some of the teams are already yeah. up and oh, running. Yeah. Like our worship team. It's r- I mean, Mark is, Mark is doing such a good it. job. Oh, man, it's so yeah. good. Um, but, you know, sen- sending and receiving emails through this one place, um, signing up for events all through one yeah. place, getting your Sunday worship guide through one place yeah. watching lunch break you can watch it in one place oh yeah so you're not having to go to multiple places because yeah. that was one of the challenges that and problems that we discovered was we had i think we added it up and it came to 13 i think it was 13 I think which it was is 13. weird uh, that number speaking of numbers ah. like it's, i'm <laughs> telling you that's you know we should have done 12 or 14 uh, yeah. but we had 13 different communication systems that we were trying to maintain because that's just how it works like you're like hey yeah. Oh, some people are into text message. Well, let's add text message. Yeah. Oh, some people have the app. Well, let's add. The and app. over time, you just and add it just, to it. It just grows. Yeah. It's like all things. Um, and so, what ended up happening is, we, heaven forbid, we'd forget one. <laughs> it know? never happened. No, of Ever. course not. Because we're we're not humans, so we can't make mistakes. Right? We're just kidding. And so, um, <laughs> like, we would forget one or two of the channels, yeah. and we wouldn't update something. Yeah. Well, some people only got their information through one place. Yeah. 
And so they're like, I don't know what's going on. How come that's not updated? How come this guy's still on the website? Like, yeah. And it's like, oh, man, okay. And so we spent all of this time and effort and sideways energy trying to maintain all these systems. So anyway, so that's what Tim's yeah. like, hey, there's this way better tool that we can use. It'll consolidate everything together. It'll it'll put us all on the same page and yeah. all on the same platform. And so we've been doing all this work. Well, yeah. I say we. We've all. I, know. I, I really we, say we've we all really been doing. Say no, we've all we've um, all been and making some of the happen. other staff. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've I've. I really, I haven't really, I feel kind of, you don't have to, well, see, yeah, I, feel I mean, that's what we're here really for. Yeah, much, come but, on. Um, but I don't really know what no. to do. So I'll just mess yeah, it up. So I kind of give that to people who know what they're doing. So that's why we have Tim. Oh, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, doing all this work for several months now, mm -hmm. building these things out and then all that kind of stuff. And then Sunday, um, I'm going to pull out my phone mm -hmm. on worship and I'm going to tell everybody exactly what app to download. It's called the church center. Um, which is an appropriate name yes. for it because it is yes, the center. Yes, it will be the center It'll, now. The church yes. center. And so you'll open up, you know, I'll down, download church center, and then you'll open up church center. Um, and it, you can't see it, obviously. I can. Yeah. Mm, oh. Nifty. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, you can check your kids in from here if you've got kids yep. on Sunday morning. You can watch our services live. Yep. You can get back on to the Daily Dose of Encouragement, yeah. which we're going to start that. Monday, yeah. um, this coming Monday, and we're gonna start launching that off again. Um, Kids Town at Home, upcoming events. You know, you need help. You want prayer requests. You you need information about our food bank. Um, Stephen Ministries. It's all gonna be right here in this one location. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be super cool. I'm so pumped for it. Yeah, it's um, gonna, it's be, gonna great. be amazing. Well, and the good thing is, again, you know, this is obviously for us, it's a lot better. Yeah. But the benefits for everybody else, whether you're a leader here, whether you're just attending or yep. whether you just volunteer, the benefits of this, though, any transition comes with a little bit of change. Sure. And that's just how it is. The the benefits, we're already seeing the benefits yeah. and it hasn't even launched yet. Right. So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, so it's going to be fantastic. So please uh, be here this Sunday mm -hmm. or watch online yep. uh, and uh, in. in download that app once yeah. we do it and go through it and, and let us know what you think because that's another thing is that if you love it let us know yeah because you know normally just like anything any business we usually only hear the the bad things i don't like this, or this yeah is yeah and so like if you like it please let us know because that gives us a little bit of encouragement to continue yeah. uh to make it happen because it's uh you know it's it is it is going to be such a great tool for us yeah. so I'm, I'm really excited so be uh, here this sunday to learn more about it and also if you're not here this sunday next week we will be pushing it out there and yeah. doing a, a few things through social media and talking about it and all that fun stuff. So it's gonna be good. yeah, it's going to be gonna great. Be really good. I'm so excited for it. This is the best thing we've done in a long time. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. So, um, so yeah, let's go into Jay. Let's focus on Jay. If I had a cameraman right now, yeah. I would totally have him just like focus in on you. If there are any camera people out there who are free around lunchtime on 11 o'clock, please let yeah, me know. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> you know, through the Church Center app, you'll be able to express interest hey! in one of those ministry areas. It's yes, amazing. yes, yes. Come on. That's what we need to do. So tying it into everything we do. Ti little little ti you know, <laughs> tags in there. It's all good, man. It's all about marketing. Uh, yeah, all about marketing. So um, it, just in case nobody knows who Jay is and you don't code to Northwest and you're just randomly watching this. Uh, well, Jay is, yeah, did. yeah. Jay is the lead pastor here at Northwest. And so um, one thing we're, we're wanting to do uh, throughout, we're trying to come up with these themes that we can do through lunch break. And uh, I think we have some really great ideas. Uh -huh. Next week's going to be fun uh, as well. But we want to kind of go. Guest next week, uh, right? We do have a guest next Ooh, week. Special uh, guest. <laughs> special Secret. guest. Secret special guest. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm One day I'm going to record that. I was saying, we got to have these theme songs. And you just fire them off. I know. Like, oh, oh man, yes. I need to get a button. Yep, you do. Oh, my gosh. Tim needs a button. I'm getting so, a button. Like, and then you can have the, the oh, question and buttons. answer, the debunked one, yes. the special, secret special <laughs> guest, <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah. And so what we're doing is we want to go a little behind the scenes here. Can I have an explosion one? Just yes. So can, just we can make them big and red. I like and we it. We can slam it. Yes. We have gone off the rails. Too. <laughs> Circle us back. Let's Bring us it. back. Yeah, come on. Um, so uh, one of the things we want to do is kind of go a little bit behind the scenes uh, here at Northwest and not just at Northwest, but in churches, because yeah. one thing that a lot of people don't know is what goes on during the week. Yep. You see the end result uh, through events and Sunday mornings and things like this, but you don't really get to see what leads up to it. And 
the underbelly of of how the sausage is made. <laughs> so to speak. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so you know, a part of that is it's a great way to start out uh, with the lead pastor yeah. because, like we talked about before, and I've heard this, and Jay's heard this. Um, people tend to think that the only thing the lead pastor does is come up and speak on Sunday mornings. Right. Uh, but 30, 30 minutes a week. Yeah, exactly. And so we want to dive a little bit more into what it means to be a lead pastor. And I think to do that, uh, the best thing for us to start out with would be why, why are you a lead pastor? And like, why, why would you want to do that to yourself? No, I'm just kidding. Cause I only wanted to work 30 minutes a week. <laughs> yes. like, I'm pretty, oh, that was I'm, it. Yeah, you got sold it. on that. And this, oh, see, that's what that's, it was. Yeah, no. But no, no. Um, so I guess you know, the why is the best. And then kind of, we can talk about yeah. what all goes into it. All right, so I'm going to give you the lame pastoral Christianese answer. What's well, all I expect um, here? Okay, <laughs> that's good because that's all I got for you. No, it's cliche. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, on, it is going to sound. I can't even. I can't even believe I'm going to say this out loud, but really, it's because of Jesus. Yes. Like I mean, that's, that's so lame. I yeah, know, no, it's but true. it's but it's true. I mean, yeah. it's 100 percent true. Because um, you know, I really. Um, I mean, I just had this overwhelming calling on my life to do ministry. Yeah. Um, I had no plans and aspirations to be in ministry at all. Uh, growing up as a kid, my best friend in middle school and high school was the preacher's son. And his name was Ben Stucher. And, um, his dad, Dan was just this, like, I mean, he was this really towering figure of a person in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I mean, I, hung out at their house all the time. And Dan was like, wow, you know, he was tall and he was good looking and he could sing pretty much everything. I'm not, you know, like the, and so that's what I wanted to, I wanted to be. And so his son was this cool guy. Like, and we just hung out. We had so much fun and we yeah. played baseball together. And I mean, it was just like, he was, he and I were really close. We, we spent a lot of time together. Um, and so I got to see kind of the underside of church a little bit. Yeah. And then on top of that, my mom was a church secretary, so oh, she worked yeah. in the church office, and so she got to hear all of the the gossip in the in church land. And yeah. my dad was an elder at the church. Wow! And so I mean, I saw it from every single side. Yeah. Of, and you still wanted to do it? No, I didn't. See, oh, that's okay. Because I didn't. So I saw all that. And I'm like, nope. Yeah. Count me out. Yep. Um, I'm going to law school. I'm going to make a lot of money because I want to drive a nice car, and I don't. I hate being poor. I grew up really, really poor. And yeah. So I hated being poor. And so I didn't want to be poor and I knew ministers didn't make much money. So, I mean, I, I mean, I had a list of things. I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, and so I had you know, this full ride to Florida State University. They're actually going to pay me to go there. Mm. I was going to make after tuition, room, board, books, you know, all that, all that sort of stuff. I was going to make like 450 bucks. Oh, man. Like I was going to I was gonna, I mean, so I had all that figured out. Um, I mean, I had, you know, offers to. Princeton and Notre Dame and all, I mean, just Dang, like all wow, the sorts yeah. of, I'm a, I'm a nerd. So like, that's just kind of how, awesome. how it rolls. Um, anyway, so like I had all this stuff figured out and then God, and I, I think he probably just sat up there for, for years and just, <laughs> just wait, <laughs> like, and he just kind of like, you yeah. know, he just kind of chuckled at me yeah. because, you know, I have, a, I had all these plans yeah. and I knew what my life was going to be like. And then he just totally messed it up. Yeah. I'm a complete monkey wrench into the system. And so I, I made a deal with the Lord. Um, yeah, I, you see, you, no, you don't do a spit take now. I'm Be sorry. careful. Like you no. almost, I almost got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that so, was good. No. So I did, but it's I made it. I, I literally made a deal with the Lord. Um, I was at a, at a conference, a youth conference, and I, there was just this overwhelming, it was almost like God spoke audibly. Um, he's never done that to me before, but it was as close as it's ever come in my life. Yeah. Um, and so like I was mad and frustrated and you know, like I had this huge argument with Jesus, like, I mean, <laughs> legit, like, and it was, yeah. I remember I was, I, I was in Beaver, Pennsylvania at this, at this college on this college campus where we were having the, the youth conference and I was running on the track. And I was just, you know, I was just, I mean, I was just doing laps on the track and I probably looked like a nutcase because I'm, I'm <laughs> talking out loud and I'm arguing with Jesus as I'm running this track. Is that guy getting attacked by bees? <laughs> no, sorry. He's arguing with They Christ. sting crazy. Like, I mean, it's just, yeah, it was just bizarre. Um, but anyway, so finally I was like, okay, God, fine. 
I mean, th- fine. You know, I'm yeah, like, I'm oh, angry. Yeah. It's just an angry thing, whatever. And I'm like, all right, I will go to a Christian college for one year <laughs> and then I get to do what I want. <laughs> yeah. So that's my deal. And yeah. so that's, you know, and, and I'm like, and, and it, you know, it was almost like God said, okay, fine. Like, it, yeah. And then chuckled at me the whole time. Yeah. And then, man, after that, that first year at that Christian college, th- there was no going back. Yeah. And so it was just kind of, it was, you know, it was, I mean, the whole life just radic- yeah. radical left turn for me. Um, and it's been great. Yeah. I mean, it really, truly is. I mean, just, you know, it's what I was, I was made to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I could, I could have done law. Like, I, yeah. I love to argue. <laughs> and I love to, to public speaking and my, and I've got kind of an analytical mind and I can, you know, I can read quickly and comprehend. I mean, so a lot of things that would be helpful in a law career. Yeah. Um, I could have made a ton of money probably, <laughs> um, at least in my brain. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer and I, and I know some and they make more than me, um, which is a lot of people, but I mean, that's a, that's a whole nother side, but, um, like I think, I think, I think I could have yeah. done well in that field. Um, but it's not what I was made for. Yeah. Well, and I so. mean, I would assume that there are other people out there who have gone down the exact same road same in road. that sense. Oh yeah. Um, not just in ministry, oh, but, but in God, all kinds of things. you know, yeah. taking them a direction they did not expect. Um, Making deals with the Lord. Yeah. Like, I mean, oh I, yeah. Well, I, I think so we've all done that. Oh man. So many people I know that have been down. That oh road. yeah. Yeah, totally. So, uh, but you didn't go from that to lead pastor. No. You like most things because that is actually how it works. The majority of the time in churches is that you don't go from seminary to lead pastor. Right. Like, yeah. uh, and so you, you pay your dues, you pay your dues mm-hmm. and you, and you, you get, well, really you learn. Yeah. So you have the education knowledge portion through seminary, but then you also have kind of the real, real world what? portion. You're saying that college isn't real world, Tim? <laughs> can be i guess <laughs> but um uh, anybody like <laughs> yeah, but um so so where did you start out so right out of mm-hmm. seminary once so you were done with bible college once you very, did that yeah. what was very first job i ever had was at a little church as a youth pastor in decatur alabama <clears throat> oh nice yeah no um it was bad it was not a good i lasted one whole year um and yeah. basically uh i brought black kids to church and they didn't like that. Uh, no, no. We had a we had a emergency elders meeting right after that sir, worship service was over, um, because and this is a direct quote from the chairman of the elders: "They're not our kind of people. So what do we need to do here?" Wow. And my wow. response and my response here's what was, you need to do here: find a new youth. <laughs> and, oh, so my response was, "Well, then I guess I'm not your kind of people yeah. either." Yeah. Wow. Goodbye. Wow. And that was it. Like, and so I, I mean, because I was like, right, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. this is wait really yeah. And, but I, you know, again, that's that the stuff they don't teach you in college yeah. and in seminary is life is messy and people are messy. Yeah. And you think you come out with oh well, man, everybody's gonna like just love mm-hmm. the Bible. Yeah. And they're in church, so they're gonna act right, <laughs> especially if you're there because yeah. you're gonna teach them. Yeah. And people are messed up, man. Yeah. Like they've just got all kinds of history and baggage, and and I just wasn't even thinking about. It. I was like, hey, here's people that need Jesus. Yeah. And who cares what color they are or where they're from or what you know socioeconomic status they have or whatever? Um, none of that stuff matters in Christ, because yeah. which is true. Um, and so why would anybody have a problem with it? Yeah. Not realizing that hey, this is like the deep South. Yeah. And <laughs> it was 1997. Um, and you would, I mean, yeah. Like it, it, w- w- people are still struggling through that issue. Yeah, which just blows in tr- my mind. Blows my mind. Yeah. It's crazy. But even in church, like they're still struggling through that issue in a in a in a just in tough ways. Yeah. And I just did. It just I just didn't even think about it. I was yeah. like, oh, come on in. Yeah. yeah more, it's more people that need Jesus, and mm-hmm. not every church appreciates that. Yeah. And I found that out real fast. Yeah. Well, and that's your first. That was your first. Oh man. And so, which I, is a great way to oh, start I, it and, out. And it was so crazy. So like. I, I, I called my parents because I was single at the time, and I called my parents. I'm like, "Hey, um, I'm coming back home." And they're like, "What?" I'm like, "Yeah, I quit." <laughs> what? <laughs> well, yeah. what's your next job? I don't have one. 
what? what? <laughs> and yeah. so I, I had a Jeep Cherokee at the time, and I loaded everything I owned in and on top of that Jeep Cherokee. Because, yes. I, I mean, it was fast. Like, it was, uh, you know, we had that meeting. You know, peace out. I'm done. And, yeah. you know, so I, I went home, and I started packing my stuff. Yeah. And, like, a few days later, I looked like the Clampets. Do you, do you remember Beverly uh, Hillbillies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. like, literally, there were people. There, somebody took a picture of my Jeep. Cause yes. Yes probably 10 feet of stuff strapped to the top of this jeep <laughs> and i had to drive all the way to lexington yeah. kentucky and that's so. ministry um so anybody wanted to <laughs> go into ministry come on ministry is yeah. awesome yeah it's great yeah um but okay so you started out in youth in youth ministry mm-hmm. and that's kind of where you you were 12 years 12 years, 12 years in youth, ministry, youth ministry yeah. which to let you know 12 years in youth ministry that's a that's a long time but that also shows that you were able to relate through those years because usually at yeah, this now I'm old and decrepit. No, that's like, not what I meant. Yeah, you know not. what I mean? <laughs> but no, it tends, it tends to be that when you get older, you, you lose your connection. And oh, it seems yeah. like I for you, it. you could, do, but yeah. you did it for I did it, but a good chunk of time, which is and, awesome. Until I got, until I had it, we I had, we had a lock in and I was like, Oh, that'll right, break I'm done. you. There's I'm everything done. that's going to break you. Yeah, It'll oh, be dude, a lock oh, in. Yeah. And if you don't know what a lock in is, basically all the kids, in the students, I shouldn't say kids because it's offensive. Um, so all the students show up and you stay up all night long. Yeah. Um, we just had two here. We had a girls yeah. lock in and a guys lock in, which was brilliant. Yeah. Um, Cause all the time I ever ran lock-ins, they were co-ed. Yeah. And half the time. Which is a horrendous idea. Oh, terrible idea. <laughs> but that's what you did back but in the, the day. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah. I, uh, you know, you had sponsors roaming around. Hey, 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 get out. What are you yeah, kids doing? Yeah, in there? Yeah. You know, I mean, just oh, terrible, yeah. terrible idea. So, John, way smarter than me. Yeah. Brilliant idea. Um, but, yeah, you stay up all night long yeah. and play games. And my last lock-in, I remember looking at Carrie, my wife, and I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. The, Never we got to go. Done. <laughs> yeah. So I got to go find some place to preach because this is stupid. Yeah. Like I've <laughs> but so you made. The, yeah. The kids loved it, though. And I hated yeah. it the whole time. Yeah. So. But you made. OK, so you did that. And then when you made that decision, mm-hmm. where did you go from there? So I actually after I left that church in Alabama, um, I went to Colorado and worked at a church in this little town called Canyon City. Mm-hmm. And Canyon City is famous for two things uh, it's the Royal Gorge Bridge which is the highest suspension bridge in the world. Um, it's a couple thousand feet above the canyon floor, um, which is, if you're afraid of heights. Yeah, why not? Because you can wa- you get to walk across the bridge. And so, you know, it's Some just people. wood slats, and the gaps are about that wide. So mm. you just look straight down. And mm. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I love it. That's great. Um, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you'd love that. I, know. I would hate that. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> no, we no. We should go to. I'm okay. I'm okay with heights. We could do a lunch break live oh, in the no, middle of the can't. bridge. No, we can't. Technolo- we're doing it. Technology I'm make just it isn't No, we're yet. doing it. I can't it, help I'm going to figure it out. We're going to make this happen. Anyway, um, so I went to this church in Canyon City and it's famous for the Royal Gorge Bridge and 13 prisons. Mm. There are 13 prisons in this mm. one little town. Yeah. Um, and so that was my next youth ministry stop. Yeah. And I was there for several years. Um, and then Went and worked at a mega church in Arizona. That's where I met my wife, um, and then some other things. And then it was like, okay, I gotta, I need, uh, I'm done with student ministry. Yeah, um, I'm looking for that place to preach, and that church called me, the one in Canyon City. Oh wow! And they said, hey, um, we fired our preacher after five years because it was just the wrong fit. Um, the church is we're dying on the vine. We're yeah. down to like 70 people. Um, and when I left, it was like 300 and something. Oh, wow. Um, so we're down to like 70 people. Would you come and preach? Cause we need somebody we know and trust. Yeah. Um, and so prayed about it. Um, Carrie and I talked about it. Um, and we, we agreed to take a pay cut to go from student ministry to the lead pastor position, which is odd. Um, <laughs> usually, yes. yeah, usually it doesn't that's work a, that way, that's not how that works, um, but yeah. we did it anyway. And we moved to this town. We moved back to Canyon city. Um, and it, it was awesome. Like yeah. it was a great, we were there five years before moving here to Northwest. Um, and it was a, it was a great five years and it was, yeah. it was a hard five years. Um, but it was, it was good. There was yeah. a lot of great that came out of it. We, you know, the, the, when we left, the church was, was growing again wow. and it was thriving and we were, pushing that 300 envelope again and we had baptized that my last year we baptized like 26 people in the first three months of the year and it was it was it was awesome um i mean it was just god was moving in that and it was it was cool yeah so well obviously you can tell that you know most people don't just go from 
from seminary, college it, seminary yeah. to nope. to this position yeah. there was obviously a life before you were here yeah. um which is i don't think people sometimes i think people sometimes forget that sure. you know to where it's like you know there's a lot of yes you can look at your diploma and you can see that but there's so much ministry life before oh, yeah. that that helped yeah so when you make decisions and when you do things that's the background. It's yeah. like, you know, I don't just come from an education point of view. I come from a life ministry, yeah. life point of view, Experience, which is awesome. Yeah. Exactly. And so, uh, that's great. You came here and as a pastor, um, you went from that church in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And then when you came here, was this an, uh, I, I don't want to say the word upgrade, but was this a, jump in position like in the in the sense of uh your workload uh the church size mm -hmm. you know what, yeah. what was that yeah. yeah so i mean it was um you know when i got here to northwest we were i think we were, our average was like 330 or something like that yeah on, on average 340 something like that um and so it was it was a larger church yeah um and you know larger staff um larger city obviously yeah um just you know larger facility for sure um and so it was it was it was kind of like that i guess you call it a, a step up well and, yeah and, i mean yeah. it's kind of weird to think because it you know I, I often think that um people with the most experience in ministry should go to little churches yeah and the people with the least amount of experience should go to mega churches because yeah. i've worked in both and it's Anyway, that's that's a that's a whole nother discussion oh, yeah. for a whole nother day. But um, so this was kind of yeah. In, in yeah. a lot of ways, this was a, a next step for me, um, and it was it was more for my family than anything else. Because yeah. Canyon City was a tough place to raise kids. I can't imagine. Um, I mean, you know, in town, you know, town with thirteen prisons. I think they're down to twelve now. They closed the women's facility, um, the women's prison. Um, but, uh, I mean, it, it was just, it was a unique community yeah. to live in and to try to do ministry in, um, there's some amazing people that I love, yeah. uh, but it was hard. I mean, it was just, it was tough. And so, um, you know, like for Carrie and the kids, especially, um, they were, they were excited to get into a little bit larger community yeah. with, a, with, with some more resources and some more things educationally and culturally. And, yeah. um, you know, we love my family and I, we love museums and we love history and we love, like, I love the symphony and I, and we and have I, a lot of that around. Yeah. Here. We have a lot of that kind of stuff. I love sports. And so you have that here. I can yeah. go watch the Braves and, you know, Falcons and, you know, some of that other stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's all right here. Yeah. I don't have to travel to Denver you know, three hours away yeah. to connect with some of that stuff. Yeah. So that was a huge blessing for us. And it's closer to the beach and it's closer to the, where I grew up as a kid, four seasons, which is nice. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of perks on top of the ministry position as well. Well, and that's actually, it brings up a good point. Um, stepping up in ministry mm. and stepping up in business world, two totally different things. Yeah. Sometimes, like you said, you went from, you took a pay cut yeah. to be a lead pastor, right. which was a step up in ministry. Right. But in the business yeah. world, it, it would have been kind of a, a, oh, a, a step a, down. Yeah, sure. And so, but that's, that shows, that's where it, it breaks. Cause sometimes people can look at a pastor and go, Oh, it's just a job. Yeah. It's not a job because no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. most people would never there do are people that run like it that. like a job. Yeah. They, well, you know, they yeah. punch a clock and we know people like that. Yeah. And which I've never, I don't even know how you do that. How, how do you do that? Like, well, maybe I need to learn. Like, how no, do you do that? No, 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 I'm just no, no. <laughs> well, but, but see this. So yeah. I remember a guy telling me about this um, and it's, and it's stuck with me for 20 something years now. Um, it was in one of my seminary classes and he said, Hey, um, the church is the bride of Christ. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. Okay. So he said, if that's true and accurate, when you get a paycheck from a church, mm -hmm. Jesus wife is paying you out of her bank account. Yeah. And that's Jesus money that you're taking. So yeah. be respectful. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me feel about this. Be big. worth like, your, you know, yeah. but, but, it, but basically yeah. it's like, you know, you know, you got to think about that yeah. every single day that you're at the office, every day you work because you are taking money from the bride of Christ yeah. and you have a different boss yeah, and a different standard of work. Um, and so that was, yeah. 
impactful. But sure. I mean, again, that was, but still you taking that, that chance yeah. and having faith that God was going to take care of you. He obviously oh, did so much and like I, it's in, you probably, in ways I can't even yeah. explain. It would yeah. take hours and hours yeah. to chronicle all of that stuff. It's but so, crazy. so that kind of leads up to where you are now yeah. and, 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 and here, and I know we're running, running out of time, but the big, I think there are, what is since you started here uh-huh. at Northwest after being here? What are you eight years? Now? Eight years. Eight it'll years. Be nine. Now? It'll be nine in June. Yeah, nine. Years, almost my nine year. years. Yeah. Um, which for a term for a pastor, nine years. That's average that's, is about five. Yeah, that's getting five that's getting six. up there, which yeah. is honorable. Yeah. Um. And so with that, what what is the best thing? about Northwest. Why are you, why have you been here for almost nine years? It's the pay. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> I think we could both just like crack up laughing about that one. Yeah. Um, no, but it, it is nice to, I mean, Northwest definitely takes care of my family better yeah. than other churches I've been in, but I agree. Um, our elders are really great like that. Um, man, there's, I th- honestly, I know it's hard to like, yeah, it is really kind of hard that to distill it down thing. to one thing, but um, we really connect with the people here. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, we really do. Like, um, I mean, not all people, obviously. There's always, you know, that. Yeah. Um, but like, w- we have real friends here. Yeah. Like, legit, actual friends. My wife has real friends here. Um, we love this community. We love um, just uh, uh, being in Atlanta is great. Yeah. It really is because uh, I could be in the mountains and fish and I can go to the beach and yeah. goof off. I can go camping. I can do all those things. So that's nice. Um, you know, so that's really cool. Um, but it, it really, like we've, we, Carrie and I talk about this a lot. It's like, you know, we just fit. Yeah. You know? And so yeah. it's, it's not, it's not perfect because nothing's perfect no. and it's nowhere near where I want it to be. Um, professionally or personally, and mm-hmm. it never will be because there's always you there, always want that though, and you should you should always want okay, what's next? What's the next thing? You should never be comfortable, especially in ministry, yeah, because uh, there's always more people to reach for Jesus. True, and if you ever get comfortable, I think you got to be careful. Um, but it it it's one of those like we look and we go, man, yeah, it's just good, yeah, it's just good. Well, so so we talked about kind of, we talked more about kind of where you've come from and yeah. almost like that which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. I it actually went a hey, direction you asked the I didn't expect it, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, it's great. Be, no. Um, but real quick, real quick, um, give me five of the top things you do during the week. Five. Of five them. of the many. Yeah, because so, there are a lot of things yeah. that each one of us do. Right. Um, and that's ministry. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we don't we don't have the I don't even want to say luxury because it's actually great that we get to like to, for me, that works. Yeah. I like doing a bunch of different things. Right. And so like it, each week is kind of different, but we don't have you know, we're not just a, a cashier where right. that's what you do. And right. you know what I mean? Like that, that's right, kind of right, right, not yeah. that there's anything wrong with cashiers at all, no, but I did that for years. kind of that. Yeah. yeah I mean, I've, I've done One it too. Of my many jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so. um but but with this you kind of do a bunch of things. So mm-hmm. what to you? What would be the top five things you top do? Top five. Oh wow. So um, you know one is I, I get to study. Yeah. For my sermons, which is again I'm a nerd, so it's super fun for me to do that. Yeah. Um, I love you know I was just before I came here to film lunch break I, I was you know working through my Greek New Testament, um, just kind of digging in for Sunday, getting geared yeah. up for that. Um, so that's 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 one. Um, you know, I write a lot, yeah, and so again, which we're starting back at the daily dose, daily dose of encouragement, which is be awesome. yeah. So every every day, if you signed up for it, um, you'll get a text message, um, with a link to that day's, just it's a short, uh, you know, it's just short devo and thought of encouragement, scripture concept, you know, whatever, yeah, um, once a day, um, so I do that, so that's I love and I love to write, so you know, I study, I write, um, you know. I, I do a lot of uh, leadership development, I yeah. guess you could say. So I have a lot of meetings. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're getting ready to start a, a little, like I call it my little cohort of leaders that I'm training, new people n- new to leadership yeah. at church, or at least at this church. Um, and so we've got that getting ready to go. So, um, you know, there's some 
pulling together final resources and making sure the booklets are ready and the training materials and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So I do that and I do a lot of that. Um, you know, a lot of, I do, I haven't done as nearly as much cause of COVID. Um, but I, I used to do a lot more just visits, yeah, visiting people, whether that's in hospitals or in their homes or, um, just going and getting, having coffee yeah. and hearing people's story and praying with people. Um, and again, COVID's made all that squirrely. very interesting. I, yes. I haven't been to the hospital except for my fa- with my family. Cause that, <laughs> and that's been a lot. Yeah. That's a whole um, nother story. That's a whole different deal. Yeah. But like I, I used to go to the hospital a lot yeah. and then I counsel people. Yeah. Um, and I tell people all the time, you know, I'm a spiritual advisor and I can be somewhat of a life coach. Yeah. Um, but if you need counseling, like I can meet with you and direct you to places. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have, you know, our Stephen ministries is awesome. So we, uh, you know, I've directed people there. Sometimes people need that next layer of like professional yeah. counseling, which most of us probably need some kind of professional <laughs> There's counseling. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing whatsoever wrong with that. Um, but so, so, but I'll, I do a lot of that. Um, I got some premarital counseling I'm doing right now. Yeah. And, um, just walking people through some of that stuff. And so those are probably the top five, top out of five all things. And you, you can't yeah. even put in the times that somebody knocks on his door to ask him a question. <laughs> and I might be one of those, but, so, but, uh, but yeah, so that's a little snapshot yeah. uh, of what it is. And, um, there's again, there's so much more than to being a pastor, oh, yeah. especially oh, a yeah. pastor than than a lot of us a lot of us may think. Yeah, and so sure. it's great to get that clarity. And I think we accomplish what we're doing in all this, which is to give you kind of an idea of well, what it looks like to be behind the scenes at Northwest. Uh, and this has been focused mostly on ministry and right. pastors, uh, but. Uh, the truth is, is it's always nice to see how things happen. Yeah. You know, and, Agreed. and, and also hopefully in hopefully. all of this, you will be like, you know what? I want to help with that because yeah. we always need help. Yeah. Uh, cause we are just a few people, <laughs> you know? And, right. and so, uh, to do what we do requires people to help accomplish it. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, this, yeah, this has been great. I think this is fantastic. And, uh, we're done for this evening or this evening. This evening. It's not evening. Where am I? <laughs> Jay, where am I? I don't know, no. Tim. Where are you? Tim? I don't know. you got a lot on your plate. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. afternoon, I think. Yes. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of the week, and we will see you Sunday. Again, be here because you want to know about, uh, obviously, continue through Revelation with yep. our study guides and all of that, but also you want to be here because we are unveiling our awesome new communication outlet, which is going to be Love just it. amazing. Church Center. Good yeah, stuff. church center. Ah, no, that ain't working. Can you do that outside? Uh, church center. Ah. <laughs> Every time you say it, I'm going to say that. Anyway, you guys have a great week, and we will see you Sunday. Bye.